<laughs> Alright, so I've got a buddy out there who let me know that one of these rescues, and like I said, it's just kind of my uh, best educated guess on some of these. The people I got them from had no education, no real good experience, and horrible husbandry, and didn't care about them. So I'm taking them in. I'm getting them healthy. Um, I have one that I'm about to show you guys that was not in good. They've left a rat in there. It ate all the way to its spine, and somehow it survived. I've gotten it healthy. I, I think I mentioned it in the past video. I might have shown it, but there was a reason I didn't, because that was a super sad... If I didn't, I mean... That was a super sad situation. So in this video, right now I'm going to show you guys that snake because it just took a shed. Man, it looks amazing. It's healed up. You can see the scars, but that's another thing. Folks, pay attention to live rats and live rodents when you put them in there with your snakes. you got to pay attention to it. If the snake's not hungry, he's not going to take it, and that rat is always hungry. So... Just pay, yeah, pay attention, but that, that situation was super sad, so if I didn't show it in a previous video, there's a reason, you know, um, but now, because of its recovery, I will show it, and then here after a bit, I'm going to get Bertha, who is um, my norm, well, she's another rescue, but she's a normal, they told me, in port, but these folks didn't know much, and they may have been chasing the mighty dollar, which I'm, you know, whatever, but Bertha is a normal, so I will get her out. And then I'll show you against what I thought was a desert ghost or a hypo. It's definitely grayed out. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not make. I'm not looking to make, you know, a mighty buck on this. I'm looking to make sure these snakes find good homes. They had bred it to another one that looks similar to it. Um, I was told desert ghost. I looked at it, and you know, when they're grayed out like that, it's a kind of a toss up between a, only a couple genes, not you know the world list there. But let me show you this one here. Um, Let's take a peek. Let's check him out. See if I can get closer and show you some of the scars that he has. So, if you look right there, that was super bad. There was a huge scab there. He's got another one that if he uncurls here, I can show you in here. If I can get in close and get enough light on it. Right here, he's got a really bad scar, too. Yeah, you can see there's still a bit of a scabbing up here. Um, this one here was super, super bad. But they, they ate all the way. When I got him, it was one of the saddest situations I've ever seen. Um, but now that he took a shed, which I seen this morning, and some of them scabs are in the shed, He'll get cleaned out today, don't worry, folks. Um, now that those scabs have made it off and they're in the shed, I don't mind showing them because when you show snakes and they got scabs and stuff all over them from, you know, because he's a rescue, it's super sad. It's it's sad to see that it was horrible, horrifying to see his spine like that. The fact that he survived is amazing. So what they had told me about this one here and... We all, if you're into snakes and you know anything about snakes, it's impossible what they said. It's a super dream sickle. No. Um, if anything, it'd be het, lavender albino, het pied, but I don't know. It does have some long here, the deep, what they call sharpie marks or het pied markers. It's possible that he's got that in there. I'm not putting anything on any of these genes. I'll do my best educated guess, but there's no 100% guarantee. They are rescues. And I'm going to uh, sell them as such. They're, hopefully they find good homes. That's the only concern I have with any of this. Is that I make sure that these animals find good homes. So today he'll, he'll be getting fed a gerbil. Because he has had a hard time eating. He hasn't shown any interest in frozen thawed. He hasn't showed any interest in any of the mice that I put in there. But it seems to me kind of like African soft birds that they love gerbils they'll jump on it when they get a chance so i'm going to try him out today especially since he's healed up so well if you would stop moving man you're just having a blast aren't you look at that one that was really bad um but dude to see him like this to see the condition of his scales now 
is just, man, it almost brings me to tears. This dude has come a long way. I was very concerned with his uh, survival rate um, or expectancy, but, man, he has come a long way. He's doing very good. We just need to get a couple meals in him and off to the races. No name, of course, you know, but, yeah. I, I don't know if the camera's picking some of that up, but if I would have showed you a couple weeks ago, it, yeah. But, like I said, he's doing great now. He's got that shed under his belly, and he's looking great compared to what he was. There's no more scabs except for in a couple spots there. Um, if I can show his back off here. Like I said, they told me something that was impossible for the genetics of this animal. Um, so, like I said, any of these rescues that I show you guys, if you have any iota, an inkling of what possibly could be in there, go ahead and leave it in the comments, guys. I'm, I'm interested to see what you think. I'm, I mean, I'll let you know what I think, and I'll also let you know it's not absolute. I'd, I've been into reptiles and ball pythons pretty much my whole life. But that does not mean I am an expert in any way, shape, or form. I do have a lot of research under my belt. I have done a lot of, um, yeah, research and looking around. But there's some of these that just weren't in any of my future projects or plans. In fact, I never planned on growing other than these guys here, really, until I got to pet store. So it's kind of, you know, you see something in this situation, and these people really didn't care. They're like, well, if nothing happens to them, we'll just... Toss them out, you know, no, no, you treat these animals with some respect. I know a lot of people aren't into snakes, but come on, man. They deserve to live just as much as anybody else. And the room they had them in, in the winter, was as cold inside as it was outside. They had burn holes through some of their tubs. Some of them had burns all over their bellies, and it was just horrible. This one was the worst one when it came to, obviously, leaving... A rat in there with him you can see that one right here that's a scar that is from them leaving the rat in there and not paying attention to it for quite some time for it to have eaten six different spots on his spine like that that's not good but enough on the negative side I hate the negative side of any of this stuff I you know if you can't take care of them just please ask for help um, in this situation, I was glad to help. I was, you know, they can't do that. And I could take on that burden. So, um, yeah, like I said, just leave in the comments below what you may think about this one here. Um, if you want to, if not, I'm still going to hold on to him for a while till at least he gets some meals in him. And some of this scarring heals up a bit more, maybe one more shed, but look at him go. He's doing pretty good. He's loving that camera, but awesome snake. Um, no guarantees on his genetics. They told me one thing. I'll tell you another, that's for sure. I'm not going to throw any random guesses at this. It's okay, um, as long as he goes to a good home. But, all right, well, I'm going to clean this cage out, and then I'll go ahead and start the video on the next one. So, thanks for watching, guys.